Hi friends, uh, today we are going to uh, solve a problem related to solar energy. So here we are going to determine the tilt angle of a solar collector at which maximum solar energy could get collected. This type of uh, situations arise when we have to place a solar collector somewhere and ensure that it it collects maximum solar energy for maximum power output. So here the problem is, uh, problem statement is like this, that there is a solar collector installed on the roof of a house at a place on the equator. So the place is given to be equator. We have to determine the angle of tilt of the collector for maximum solar energy collection right the time is solar noon and the date is november 23 now uh, diffuse radiation is given that diffuse radiation is 30 percent of the total solar radiation and reflectivity is also given of uh, the surrounding is 0 0.1 so let's f let's first list down what all the information is given in the question so the the location is equator so the latitude is 0 degree time is solar noon so our angle is 0 degree day is november 23 so the day number is 327 therefore we can now find declination of the place of the day declination of the day comes out to be minus 20.825 degrees and the reflectivity is 0 0.1 now let's show this entire problem through a schematic here so here is the sun then the sun uh, solar radiation is coming at an angle of tilt of theta on this tilted surface. This tilted surface represents the solar collector. And if uh, um, the, the tilt angle of the solar collector is, has been shown here by beta. And if uh, we extend this uh, solar radiation, it will fall on this horizontal surface at an angle of theta z theta z is the angle of incidence on the horizontal surface which this all has been listed down here id is the diffuse radiation now what's given what are the information given about uh, the diffuse radiation in the question uh, we need to write it down first so the diffuse fraction is given to be 30 percent of the total solar radiation and uh, in symbolic form we can write it id is equal to 0 0.3 ib plus id which uh, ultimately comes out to be um, id is equal to 3 by 7 ib after simplification and let's let's call it equation number one now we know that solar radiation on the tilted surface is given by the formula shown here by equation number 2. IB is the beam radiation, RB is the tilt factor of the beam radiation, ID, ID is the diffuse radiation, RD is the tilt factor of the diffuse radiation, IB plus R, ID represents the total solar radiation and RR represents the tilt factor of the reflected radiation. Here, uh, the tilt factor for diffuse radiation RD is given by 1 plus cos beta by 2. Tilt factor for reflected radiation RR is given by rho times 1 minus cos beta by 2. And the tilt factor for beam radiation RB is given by cos theta upon cos theta z. As I told, theta is the tilt angle on the tilted surface. Uh, theta is the incident angle on the tilted surface and theta z is the incident angle on the horizontal surface. So after we put the value of cos theta and cos theta z, so the numerator here is 
the value for um, cos theta and denominator is the value for cos theta z this is cos theta this is cos theta z when we put beta equal to 0 we will uh, in this expression we will get the value of cos theta z which which, uh, which i shown here this is theta and we, when put beta equal to 0 in the in this expression in this expression we will get cos theta z so after substituting id from equation 1 and rd rr and rb in equation 2 this in equation 2 here uh, we put values of ib rb id rd ib plus id rr we get this expression for id that is solar radiation of the tilted surface now if we substitute value of, of phi omega and delta in this expression we will get i we get it after span doing some simplification we get it equal to ib times minus tan delta sin beta plus cos beta plus 1 by 7 2 plus cos beta now for extreme values of it extreme values means either maximum or minimum value of it we need to differentiate it with respect to beta and put it equal to 0 after differentiating uh, uh, we get um, the following expression we get this expression and uh, and after simplifying we get beta comes out to be 18.4 degree now beta equal to 18.4 degree uh, could correspond to either maximum or minimum value so to check whether it is maximum or minimum we, we have to perform the second derivative so when we perform the second derivative the value comes out to be a negative one minus one by two beta and we know that when the second derivative is negative it means um, beta it would be maximum at beta equal to 18.4 degree therefore uh, the required solution is 18.4 degree this is the required tilt angle so th this is how the problem has to be solved thank you